So I'm no longer in Russia, but apparently it's still winter survival here in Canada. I'm with uh, David St. Jacques, Canadian astronaut outside the Canadian Space Agency. And uh, why are we here, uh, David? Well, Andy, we're here because Canada is where space robotics is. So we're here for training. It's called the Robotics Operator Force. And after two weeks, we should be good to go to run the Canada arm up in the space station. Awesome. Well, let's get out of this cold and get inside. Get a coffee. Yeah. All right, we're in our robotics classroom. We've got the uh, robotic workstation here. We've also got our model of the International Space Station with the robotic arms where we can visualize what's going on. Here's a station uh, at scale and here's a robotic arm also at scale. It moves and we can plan our maneuvers. As you can see, the main challenge is to not hit anything while you're moving this arm because all you got really when you're working, if you come here, there's this workstation. You got a couple of camera views to work from. You got your hand controllers to move the arm, and you get the you know some computer displays and a bunch of switches here on the left. That's all you got. So you really gotta think ahead uh, how you're gonna maneuver this arm without crashing into anything, because of course uh, that would be a very bad day uh, on orbit. And what do we control the arm with? Well, so there's actually two joysticks. One moves the end of the arm, you know, and lateral motions, up, down, left, right, and out, and the other one moves the arm in angles. You can pitch up, pitch down, roll, and yaw. And, and I see a, a, a trigger switch down there. Is that for firing the space lasers? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's only to act, that's to make the arm's hand grab onto a payload. So that's how we command the hand to close at the end of the arm. So for example, we can use the arm to grab a cargo vehicle, like a SpaceX capsule, for example, as it approaches. What these spacecrafts do is they approach space station, they hover nearby within reach of the arm, we maneuver to uh, you know, near enough, and then pull the trigger, and the hand just grabs the spacecraft, and then we can bring the spacecraft to a docking port on the station, open the door, and uh, get our goodies. So here is the, the hand of uh, the robotic arm. And as we're getting near the grapple pen, so this is the this is the the grapple fixture which sits on all the uh, the payloads that the arm grapples. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. With and, the pin, huh? And this is the hand, so it's gonna grab that pin here. The cables have caught the tip of the pin, and we're pulling the lock. There we go. The arm has captured the payload. Captured the payload. So, we've uh, completed the first week of robotics training. We've got another week to go. Unfortunately, as you can see, the weather's so, uh, gotten so bad that uh, we now have to snowshoe our way to job. Uh, but it's still fun. We'll look forward to the second week. So for a whole week, we've been uh, battling the robotic arm. Now we're battling the elements. I wonder what uh, our good friend Tomas Pesquet is doing at this time. 